हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक लेट इस कंटिन्यू विद द चैप्टर इम्प्रूवमेंट इन फूड रिसोर्सेज ओके इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर व्हाट वी हैव स्टडीड वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट पोल्ट्री फार्मिंग वी कैन रेयर द पोल्ट्री फॉर आइर मीट और फॉर एग ओके एंड देर वर द वेरियस एक्सपेक्ट और फॉर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स फॉर विच वी ब्रीड द पोल्ट्री दैट ऑल्सो वी स्टडीड दैट मे बी आई द फॉर द एग्स ओके सो द पोल्ट्री शुड बी एबल टू ले मोर एग इफ आई डू अ ब्रीडिंग और आई इफ आई गेट अ हाईब्रिड इट शुड बी एबल टू ले मोर एग एंड इट शुड गिव मी मोर अमाउंट ऑफ एंड गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ चिक्स ऑल्सो एंड द चिक्स शुड बी एबल टू सर्वाइव ऑन चीपर रिसोर्स एज फूड ओके एंड इट शुड बी इवन एबल टू विथ सेंड डिफरेंट अमाउंट ऑफ टेम्परेचर एंड क्लाइमेटिक चेंजेस द ब्रॉयलर्स विच आई वॉन्ट इट शुड बी डुआफ these were the characteristics and based on this we studied the differences between the shelter and the nutrient requirement for layers that is the egg laying poultry as well as the meat ones broilers differently today we'll start with fish culture or fish production okay now why fish production because fish is again a very rich source of protein and it is cheaper than your poultry that is the reason fish production nowadays have gained too much amount of importance okay it gives good amount of protein it is a rich source of protein as well as it is cheap okay now you can have two types of fishing first one is your simple fishing okay which is called as capture fishing okay and the other way is fish farming the name says farming means i am having farm where i keep the cattle i rear them same way i will have fish farming so what will be fish farming it will be culture fishing where i will be growing the fish i will be rearing the fish so it will be called as culture fishing and this is capture fishing now capture fishing means capturing the fish okay it is done from which resources from the natural resource easy right how do we capture a fish if i want i can have two types of fishes right i can have a fresh water fish like from the river and the inland fisheries or i can have a marine water fish right so the both the ones can be captured how do i capture them with the help of a net simple okay so it can be either inland fishing or a marine fishing now when i say about marine fishing i'll go in sea and oceans okay and your inland fishing will be done generally in estuaries what are estuaries the place where the sea water meets the river water it is a very rich source where you get maximum amount of fish okay now both the things are done by net but due to the modern techniques nowadays we have sonar waves okay so what is this sonar waves does when the people go with a ship and big boats in the oceans and sea okay what do they do is they activate the sonar waves and the sonar wave is able to detect where a where is a place where maximum amount of fish is there which is called as a school like we can call bunch of grapes that's why same way maximum fishes are called as schools of a fish okay so the schools of a fishes are found with the help of sonar waves nowadays okay in your seas and ocean now going to the fish farming this one is very easier you go to the natural resource just throw the net and get the fishes or you have different techniques nowadays you must have seen in your national geographic channel it is not with manually only you can have machines which go with the net and the whole machines only pick it up so the manual labor work becomes less now comes the one which we are going to stress more that is fish farming okay what is fish farming i told i am going to rear the fishes that is fish farming so let us study fish farming in detail again as i have inland fishes that is the fresh water fishes and marine fishes same way fish farming can be done for two ways i can have mariculture okay why culture because fish farming is also known as culture fishing and i can have aquaculture okay aquaculture is nothing but when i am rearing the fresh water fishes or the inland fishes mariculture will be for the fishes of sea and ocean simply what do i do i take a place of the ocean where i rear 
okay where i rear and i put the seeds what are the seeds the eggs of the fishes and allow them to grow in the natural environment okay and at that place only i keep a barrier so that they all cannot move so once they are grown pro totally the whole barrier is picked up so i get the whole fishes which i want so i have reared it it was not there i have allowed them to grow okay this is done generally at the coastal regions okay at the coast it is done so it becomes easier because if i do deep inside the sea there will be different types of fishes okay the carnivorous fishes which may eat them so it is this mariculture is generally done in the coastal region coming to the aquaculture aquaculture can be done in three ways okay the first one is simple aquaculture where what do i do is i have a big bamboo or a steel cage made okay and here what i am doing this is with the help of cage okay big bamboo or steel cage and then i dip this steel or the bamboo cage inside the river okay so that the water is there and allow the seeds to be falling over there seeds means the eggs of the fish so in the cage the cage is locked so the fish will not be able to move out only they will be able to move over here okay and i have put the whole thing in water okay this is simple aquaculture the other one is integrated aquaculture here what do i do is i integrate this culture fishing with a food production that is plant generally this integrated aquaculture is done with paddy production okay paddy or rice is generally cultivated in rainy season so there is lot of amount of water over there in the field so in the field integrated aquaculture may you usually do it in a field and it is generally done for paddy why because it is in the monsoon season so in the free field you add the seeds or the eggs so you are doing two things one is your simple farming okay that is for the plant paddy and the other is your fishes are also able to grow where the waste or whatever fertilizers you have added or whatever weeds are there okay will be serving as a food for your fishes so it is integrated field field aquaculture the last one is composite fish culture now this is the one which comes maximum time in exam okay the types of aquaculture the first one is simple where you have a cage then you have integrated field aquaculture or integrated field culture and composite fish culture this comes many times okay because here in this two we studied that we can rear a single fish in, in composite fish culture we can rear more than one type of fish okay here what happens is we add the seeds in the river or the eggs in the river based on different food habitat so i'll have one as surface feeder okay the ones which will feed on the uh, plants which are there on the surface then i have middle feeders okay so the fishes this fishes will feed in the middle plants which ever are there and then i have the weed feeders all the low feeders or it can be also called as a bottom feeders okay so they will feed on the all the plants which are there at the bottom of the river so in this composite fish culture i am able to grow more than one fish at the same time now for this example of fishes over here is silver carp and catla here rohu and grass carp okay and here the example is mrigal so you can see that i am culturing five different fishes in the same river or in the same pond but what is the difference the difference is in their feeding pattern okay here i am taking care it is advantageous why because i am using all the different plants from down to top all the plants will be utilized the second thing is they will not fight for the nutrition we have studied about survival of the fittest the one who is fit to survive the one who will get the food okay will survive okay here there will be no fighting among the fishes why because they all are different feeders okay so you have surface feeder will feed on the top only they will not go down because they do not have food over there then middle feeders will 
feed on the middle plants they will not go down or up why because they don't don't have food over there and the bottom feeders will feed at the bottom only so in this way the in this aquaculture what you get you get more amount of fish in the same river okay so remember aquaculture have three types generally what is the mistake you all do you add this composite fish culture over here also mariculture will be done very separately why because for that you require a coastal region mariculture they are marine organisms so you require that much amount of salt okay and aquaculture you have the first one in which you have a bamboo or a steel cage then the second one where you integrate with the field farming and the last one where you have composite fish culture where you grow more than one fish at the same time okay now remember over here oyster okay it is a type of fish which is grown okay it is a type of thing which is grown in the fish production for mariculture but it can be grown for feeding also and oyster are also cultured for the pearls okay sometime oysters are cultured for the pearls which they give so this is all about your fish production now the major thing over here is that you need to get whenever i am doing culture fishing capture fishing is easier because the i'm capturing the fish from their natural environment here i am growing them i am culturing them or rearing them so the major problem over here is getting the seeds or the eggs the reason is the eggs or the seeds of the fish are generally produced only during the monsoon season and you cannot wait the whole year long for getting the monsoon season okay so what is done the breedings are done so that you get seeds at any of the time during the whole season so that this culture fishing also becomes helpful okay so only problem is to maintain the seeds or the egg okay the seeds should be of the same type of all the fish it should not happen the eggs or the seeds gets mixed okay remember when i say seeds for fish culture they are nothing but the eggs of the fish and when i say seed for crop variety improvement i am talking about the plants okay so the, if I, there i do hybridization and gene manipulation here i will do breeding okay this is all about fish production and in the next lecture we'll start up with the bee keeping or apiculture thank you hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel we have each and every question solved for maths physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win epathshala goodies So what are you waiting for subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education